Hi, my name is Cassie Adams, and we're interviewing. Gary Hess. Gary, can you tell us what's going on here tonight? Well, what we have here tonight is what we call Twins Fun Night. And uh, back in uh, Jan or, uh, January of two, uh, two six, 2006, well, we started putting this together, and uh, it was myself, Kurt Sampson, who is sponsoring this event tonight, and Janice Weikley. And uh, all three of us kind of put our minds together and start signing up the celebrities that are going to be with us tonight and getting people like yourself to come down here and interview people and it's always have fun to have KGFW. What's been one of your favorite memories from the swim, from these swim nights? Well I, I think uh, you got to talk about when Tony Oliva was here. He's been here two times and we're looking at a guy that's uh, probably a future Hall of Famer and uh, I'm really looking forward tonight because Bert Byleman's going to be here and there'll be a lot of signs out there saying circling Bert and uh, someday he's going to be in the Hall of Fame and uh, it's just going to be a great evening so that'll be the highlight. Is there, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Well I just again I want to thank you kids for coming out here it's a great experience for you guys and it's a lot of fun for the ball players for you guys to to interview them and I just all I got to say for all you guys or all you people here today from school is just enjoy yourself tonight and have a good time. Hi, I'm Andy Hood, reporting for KGFW, and this is... Paul Hess. Is your dad the guy, the guy that sets this all up? Yeah, he is. My dad, uh, Gary Hess, is a lot of hours spent uh, preparing for this, lining people up to help, and uh, getting the game organized, so a lot of time put into it. What's your favorite memory from down here at the ballpark? A lot of memories. I grew up playing on this uh, field as a, as a youngster, I'd have to say. Probably my two favorite memories is... Uh, playing for my dad as a Fairfax Cardinal and playing in the 2000 state tournament right here on our own park. Are you a Twins fan? Yep, Joe Maurer is my favorite player. You know Burt Blythe Evans are going to be here tonight? Really? You think we'll get a good crowd? Yep. I get to interview him. That'll be a lot of fun. I'm sure you'll learn a lot about baseball from Burt. Thanks a lot, Paul. Thank you. This is Anjaka Rico, reporting for KGFW. And this is Scott Blumhofer. I like your shirt. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm a big Twins fan, and especially Joe Maurer. Cool. Are you excited to watch the game tonight? I sure am. It's a great night out here. We're going to have a big crowd, I think. It's fun to be uh, out here out under the sun, and um, I think it's going to be a good, a good game. That's cool. My name is Sue Hernandez. I'm reporting for KGFW, and this is... And Sexy. What are you doing here tonight? I have been asked to sing the national anthem for tonight's game. What kind of choices do you usually sing it? Well, I sing in a jazz group, so usually I sing with some other singers, and I sing the national anthem different places um, around where I live in Iowa. It looks like you have a beautiful night for the national anthem. Oh yeah, the weather's great. We have a good game, it looks like too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we're interviewing. Officer Chris Stolmeyer. What do you like about nights like this? Well, the weather for one thing tonight and also to visit with all these uh, wonderful folks here this evening. I noticed you have a pretty cool patch on your sleeve. Yeah, the patch is actually the picture of the Memorial Park here. And uh, you can see that guy in the red there, number 11, and that's uh, Dana Kicker. Thank you very much. And is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Well, just have an awesome night. It's beautiful out here. The food is great, and there's a lot of people to visit with. It's a busy night, it's a beautiful night, and we're going to meet all kinds of people. We're interviewing Chuck Kaker from New Ulm. Chuck, are you having fun tonight? We're having a great time. Yeah, glad to be here. What's your favorite memory from baseball? I was lucky enough during the World Series of 1991 to be at Game 6, and I saw Kirby Puckett hit the home run that won Game 6 and forced it to a seventh game which the Twins won in 1991. One of my favorite baseball memories. It's been a pleasure to talking to you, Chuck. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. My favorite sport uh, event was when Kirby Puckett hit a home run to win the, uh, the sixth game of the World Series in uh, 1991. And uh, I was there, I was in the stands cheering for him, and he, it was great. Well, thank you for interviewing me. You're a good boy. <laughs> thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Now we're interviewing... Kurt Sampson. Are you all ready to go tonight? 
Yeah, I think so. Uh, Arm feels about the best it has for 55 years. What's been your favorite memory from playing, playing here in Fairfax? Well, in the first year, what we did was uh, I was going to have a guy by the name of Senior Smoke, Juan Berenger, was supposed to be my relief pitcher, and I was going to go two innings. But uh, it was going so good, I went on into the seventh inning, and then they took me out after one out. And then we were up two to one. Okay, but then they took our uh, Berenger come in, and he threw a, a pitch about right here on a guy low. And then he raised it up and pitched another one about here low really fast. And then he raised it up, and the kid hit it out of the park. So they went ahead of us three to two. So I, will, I wound up uh, only uh, no decision on the game. But it was fun. It was a big... A lot of fun because this kid was so happy he could hit a home run off of a major league pitcher, Juan Berenger, or senior smoke. I really like your shirt. Can you tell me about it? Well, I had a different shirt on. You can see under here. But uh, Bert Blylevin, when he came tonight, he gave me this shirt. And so I thought, wow, I'm going to wear it right now. It's the first time I just put it on. Kurt, good luck tonight, and thank you very much for giving you us our time. Well, that's quite right, and thanks a lot for you guys coming over. It's always good to see you kids. So have fun tonight, okay? Now we're interviewing Leanne Geisler. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience in baseball? Well, I, I uh, fell in love with baseball. I grew up by the Met Stadium. Um, and I didn't have any brothers, and my dad loved baseball, and so he took me and my sister to the games all the time. And then when I got old enough to ride my bike over there, I would go over there and I'd sneak in the press gate. I'd, I'd ask where the lost and found was. It's never out in the parking lot. So then um, they'd let me in the press gate and I would go take a pretty good seat right above the dugout and I'd watch a game. And so I fell in love with the game and I grew up playing softball. They didn't have girls baseball. And then I always wondered what it would be like to play hardball. And when I had my third child, I was um, 20, no, I was 30, 38, and I decided I was going to go to baseball fantasy camp in Florida, and I loved the game. I had a lot of fun, and I've been going for 11 years, and I, I love it. We wish you the best luck. Is there anything else you want to say? I'd like to say happy birthday to Kurt Sampson. I met him the first year I went to baseball camp, and he's a great player and a great friend, so I just want to say happy birthday, Kurt. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Now we're in the room. Angel Munoz. Angel Munoz Jr. How long have you been playing baseball? I've been with the Cardinals for 13 seasons now, and I've enjoyed every bit of it. Cool. I've played baseball nine years. What's your favorite um, memory of baseball? Just being here with the Cardinals and being a bad boy. My favorite memory is uh, when I got to play all nine positions. That was the greatest. Went around all the way around and and yeah, we made a triple play too. That was fun. You have a beautiful day to play baseball tonight. Yeah, it's excellent. I feel like a kid again. Every time we come on, I feel like a kid. So I'm ready to go. Yep. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you, Angelica. Thanks. Now we're interviewing Julie Elmer, Sandy Pearson, Dustin Havick. What group are you here with tonight? We're here with the Summer Rec Program for Twins Fun Night. Are you guys pretty excited? We are very excited. We have almost 100 kids here. Hey, Dustin, do you have a favorite baseball player? Wade Warner. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, you guys, for being in our show. You're welcome, Suhei. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dustin. This is the Blue Ox Jazz Band. They're really good. Dairy Princesses. Looks like you guys are handing out free ice cream. Yep, we are. Um, this is sponsored by our county ADA board, the American Dairy Association, and we're handing them out to people at the baseball game here. we got a bunch of kids standing in line, and for the adults, too. What's your favorite part about summer? Uh, my favorite part about summer is getting a tan and just being able to do whatever you want. 
My favorite part is still the milk and the cows because I still do that every day. It gets kind of hot now and then in the barn though, but I still like that. Are you guys Twins fans? I don't have a favorite, but yeah, I'm a Twins fan. <laughs> of course, Joe Maurer all the way. Thank you very much for the interview. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Yeah, there is. We have a special treat for you guys. Our very last two ice cream bars go to you too. Thank you very much. Now we're in there. You Melissa O'Malley. Melissa, can you tell us a little bit, a little bit about your Sure, this is the desert uniform we wore when we were deployed for Iraq. I'm in the Army National Guard and we either wore this soft cap here or we had a big round boonie cap that protected us from the sun. But uh, it's, we got the desert colors and our desert boots and this was our uniform over there. Did it get really hot out there? Oh yeah, we had about 120 degrees out there and we had to be in this and sometimes we had to wear this Kevlar vest, like the bulletproof vest you see that policemen wear. We had to wear one of those or we had a helmet on top and it's, we sweated all day. Was there any moments where you got scared or anything? Definitely, there's sounds all over. There's things, you can hear things from miles away. So if anything happened in the big city, we were there and we could hear it and we got a little nervous. But we always had phones around us. We could always call home and we had internet, so we had email. And it's really comforting to know that your family was there and, com and supporting you. Could you talk to any friends in the internet or something like that? Definitely, the MSN, the messenger, and we had email, and we had little cafes that we could go to, and we actually had the internet wired into our trailers that we slept in, so we could be on the internet all day if we wanted. We appreciate everything you've done for our country. Of course, and I appreciate all the support that you guys have given all of us. Is there anything else you need to tell us before you go? Um, I just want to say thank you again for all the support that everyone's given to us. It means so much when you're out there and you're deployed and your family's not there, but it means it, all the prayers that you've given to everyone and it really helps when you're over there. It's a huge comfort. Cool. Thank you very much, Melissa. Thank you, Angelica. I'm Andy Hood, reporting for KDFW. Hi, Andy. How are you? Good. Very good. What brings you here today? Um, well... <laughs> do you know what? Do you know when I was your age? I had the same oh, freckles. Really? I had the same freckles when I was your age. You know, and I, I didn't know I wanted to be a broadcaster. I just wanted to be a baseball player. But I'm very happy to be here. When you were a little kid, what were some of the things that wanted to make you play baseball? Well, you know what? I work. I grew up in Southern California, Southern California, and uh, I really wanted to be with my friends and all my friends played little league baseball and that's really how I got into baseball just through my friends and uh, I didn't realize that uh, I had a chance to play major league baseball I didn't think that uh, I was going to play I didn't think I was good enough but uh, as time went by and I really worked hard at it uh, then I eventually had the opportunity to pitch at the major league level so I was pretty lucky do you ever have a chance to keep up with your childhood buddies? Yeah, I sure do. A lot of my friends still live in California. I see them from time to time. And now with the internet and uh, what I can do online, I stay in touch with a lot of them that way. What's been one of the most fun um, moments. moments working on television? Well, I think I, I enjoy television because I love baseball. I get the opportunity to, uh, to see the game of baseball. I get a, a chance to talk about it. And uh, I get a chance to uh, circle people because of the Circle Me Bert. And I, I just get a chance to watch the Minnesota Twins play against some very good, talented uh, players on other teams. Isn't that exciting that they get an art outdoor stadium? I think it's great. And, uh, you know, I think here in Fairfax, uh, hopefully the people that do come to the game, hopefully the Minnesota Twins will be talking about a retractable roof-type stadium. Open air is nice, but I pitched at the old Met, and I know how the weather is here in Minnesota, and hopefully a, a retractable roof will, uh, will ha be what uh, the Twins will come up with. All right, I'm going to stand up right now, only because my knee's killing me, okay? <laughs> Now you're going to ask me from here. Did you have a... I can't hear you. Speak up. Did you have a favorite catcher? 
Did I have a favorite catcher? Uh, yeah, I think I did. Sometimes I did. Uh, let's see, in Texas, when I pitched for Texas, I had uh, Jim Sunberg. I really liked Jim Sunberg. Uh, in Minnesota, I liked Tim Laudner. I really liked all my catchers because I made sure that we communicated. And I'm doing an interview right now, guys. Get out of here, you little knuckleheads. Uh, but uh, I made sure that, uh, you know, I had a good rapport with all my catchers because the catcher and the pitcher should be best friends during a ball game. What really makes a good teammate? A good teammate is someone that uh, can I can do this to, okay? I can do that to, okay? I can do this to, rub their chest, and they don't get mad at me. That's a good teammate right there. Now, you're not mad at me, right? Oh, you'd be a good teammate. I could do this to you? I like that. You like that, don't you? We could be teammates then. Awesome. Awesome, dude. Well, it's good to be back working for old Earl Perry again. <laughs> My name is Cassie Adams, and we're reporting for KGFW, and this is Frank Quillacy, Minnesota Twins. Frank, can you tell us a little about the jersey? Are you talking about the name on my back? I think that's what you're talking about, because that, that says Guido on it. Do you know what Guido stands for? No. That's Italian for guy. That was my dad's name, and I he always wanted to play in the major leagues. And so when I got to the major leagues, I said, I'm going to put his name on my back so that out of respect for my father. Number seven is the same as Joe Maurer. Now, wait a minute. I had seven first. Joe Maurer is using my number. But I'll tell you what, he hit better than I did. I think he'd be honored. Well, I know Joe, and the reason that he'd be honored is because I knew his uncle. And his uncle was one of the best clinicians that the Twins ever had. He used to travel with Angelo Giuliani all over Minnesota to teach young people how to play our game. And that's where Joe learned an awful lot about baseball from his uncle and his dad. That's nice. It's a small world. And I had a real good coach at the park that I played for in Chicago, Illinois, called Harrison Park. And his name was Pete Klein. And he used to play with the New York Yankee Farm System. And he showed us a lot about the fundamentals of baseball. That helped me. What's your favorite memory from the game of baseball? My favorite memory was the very first day that I played in the major leagues. We had a public address announcer by the name of Bob Casey. And he introduced me and he said, now playing second base for the Minnesota Twins is number 11, Frank Kulikahiki. And I didn't even know that was me. But I ran out there anyway because Sam Mealy, the manager, told me to run out to second base. So I, finally he got it right about three years later. That's nice. Yeah, it was pretty good. My parents appreciated it because before that nobody knew who I was. It's been an honor interviewing you. Is there anything you'd like to share with us? You know what, Cassidy? The thing that I'm most happy about is that they're letting young girls begin to play baseball, as well as the boys. And the girls are doing real well. And I always thought that if the girls got a chance to play sports, that it would help them later on in life. And I think sports is one of those things that teaches you a lot about life. So that's what's great about boys and girls playing baseball at a young age. And I sure thank you for interviewing me. You're welcome.